Have you ever wondered how a gorilla, one of our closest relatives, spends its day in the wild? A question that sparks a sense of intrigue for many. The enigmatic gorilla, a marvel of evolutionary biology, shares a staggering 98% of our DNA. It's a creature that seems to mirror us in many ways, yet exists in a world so vastly different from our own. These majestic beings with their impressive physical strength and surprisingly gentle demeanor have long captivated our interest. Their complex social structures, their expression of emotions and their remarkable intelligence truly set them apart in the animal kingdom. But what do we really know about their daily lives? The mystery surrounding these creatures is as dense as the tropical rainforest they inhabit. And yet every day, there's more to discover, more to understand about their fascinating existence. So, are you ready for an adventure into the unknown? Join me as we delve into the life of these magnificent creatures. Imagine a lush green forest teeming with life. This is home to the gorilla. A habitat more than just a place to live, it's a realm where every leaf, tree and creature plays a part in the circle of life. The gorilla, the largest living primate, calls two distinct types of habitats its home. First, the lowland gorillas dwell in the dense rainforests of Central Africa, a world cloaked in green, where the sun barely peeks through the thick canopy of leaves. Here the air is heavy with the scent of damp earth and the ceaseless chorus of insects and birds. The forest floor, a treasure trove of edible plants, fruits and small insects, provides the gorillas with a diverse diet. The second type of habitat is the mountainous regions, home to the mountain gorillas. They reside thousands of feet above sea level, in the misty, cloud-covered forests. It's a cooler, harsher environment with steep slopes and dense vegetation. But it also offers a rich diet of leaves, shoots and stems, allowing these majestic creatures to thrive, despite the challenging conditions. The habitat of the gorilla is more than just a location. It's a complex ecosystem that supports their survival. Trees provide not just food, but also a place for rest. Foliage offers concealment from predators. The availability of water sources within their habitat is crucial, as gorillas, like us, need water to survive. But it's not just about survival. The habitat plays a crucial role in the social life of gorillas. It's here that they form their social groups or troops, led by a dominant silverback. It's here that young ones learn to forage, play and navigate the complex social dynamics of their troop. The habitat is the stage on which the drama of life unfolds for the gorilla. It's a place of birth, growth, conflict, and resolution. It's a place of safety, a place of learning, a place of existence. In these forests the gorilla reigns supreme. From the break of dawn the gorilla's day is filled with activities. As the first light of the day graces the canopy, the gorilla stirs from its leafy bed. The morning air is filled with the rustling of leaves and the soft grunts of the awakening giant. Before the sun fully ascends, the gorilla starts its day with a hearty breakfast. Foraging for food is a primary activity, with their diet mostly comprising of fruits, shoots and leaves. The gorilla spends a significant portion of its day chewing on this fibrous food, a necessity given its vegetarian diet. But a gorilla's day isn't just about eating. There's also plenty of time dedicated to social interactions. Gorillas are highly social creatures and thrive on the bonds they form within their groups, known as troops. The silverback, the dominant male, maintains peace and decides on the activities and movements of the troop. It's fascinating to observe the subtle cues and behaviors that govern their interactions, from gentle grooming sessions that strengthen their bonds, to playful wrestling among the younger members, their social structure is more complex than one might initially perceive. In the heat of the day, the gorilla often takes a siesta, a brief respite from the day's activities. This period of rest is also a time for nurturing relationships within the troop. The young ones might be seen playfully jostling or rolling around, while the adults indulge in mutual grooming, a key social activity that fosters strong bonds. As the day progresses, the gorilla continues its foraging, interspersed with moments of social interactions and rest. By late afternoon, the gorilla begins preparing its nest for the night. This is a meticulous process with each gorilla, save for the infants, constructing their own nest. The day is capped off with a final feeding session. As twilight descends, the forest is again filled with the sound of rustling leaves and chewing, a testament to the gorilla's never-ending quest for sustenance. As the sun sets, the gorilla settles down for a well-deserved rest. The night blankets the forest, and the gorilla, having navigated another day in its complex existence, closes its eyes to the world. 
But the life of a gorilla isn't always peaceful. Many threats loom over their existence. The first and perhaps most pressing of these threats is habitat loss. As the human population expands, forests are cleared for agriculture, settlements, and roads. This results in fragmented forests leaving gorilla populations isolated and vulnerable. The damage done is twofold, not only is their home destroyed but the gorillas also lose their primary source of food. This makes survival a challenge and reproduction nearly impossible, leading to a rapid decline in their numbers. The second threat is the illegal activity of poaching. Despite international laws protecting these magnificent creatures, gorillas are hunted for various reasons. Some are killed for their meat, a practice known as bushmeat hunting, while others are captured alive and sold in the illegal pet trade. Infants are particularly at risk as poachers often kill the protective mothers to get to them. The trauma and stress of such an event can be devastating for these social animals, leading to psychological problems and a decrease in the overall health of the population. Lastly, disease poses a significant risk to gorilla survival. Gorillas share about 98% of their genetic code with humans, making them susceptible to many of the same diseases. Illnesses such as Ebola have wreaked havoc on gorilla populations in the past, decimating entire communities. What's more, the increase in human-gorilla contact due to habitat encroachment has led to a rise in disease transmission, further threatening the survival of these primates. These threats are real and immediate, they have the potential to wipe out gorilla populations if left unchecked. The gravity of these issues cannot be overstated, and their impact on gorilla populations is profound and heartbreaking. Despite these threats, the gorilla continues to persevere, a testament to their resilience. The fight for survival is a daily reality for these creatures, yet they continue to exist, to adapt, and to thrive in the face of adversity. Their story is one of strength and survival, a testament to the indomitable spirit of nature. So, what can we do to ensure the survival of the gorilla? The answer lies in conservation. Conservation is our most potent tool in the fight to protect the gorillas and their habitats. Various organizations and individuals around the world are tirelessly working to ensure these majestic primates have a fighting chance. One of the most significant conservation efforts is the establishment of protected areas. These are spaces where gorillas can live, free from the threats of human encroachment. In these safe havens they can thrive, reproduce, and continue their unique way of life unimpeded. But creating protected areas is only a part of the solution. We also need to ensure that local communities around these areas are engaged in conservation efforts. These communities often serve as the first line of defense against threats like poaching and deforestation. By providing them with alternative livelihoods, education and resources, we can make them active participants in conservation. Another critical part of guerrilla conservation is research. By learning more about these animals, their behavior and their needs, we can develop more effective strategies to protect them. This research often involves tracking and monitoring gorilla populations, studying their behavior, and understanding their interactions with their environment. And lastly, we need to consider the role of rehabilitation and reintroduction programs. These initiatives rescue orphaned or injured gorillas, provide them with the care they need, and when possible, reintroduce them back into their natural habitat. But it's not just about what organizations or governments can do. Every single one of us has a role to play. Whether it's supporting conservation organizations, spreading awareness, or making more sustainable choices, we can all contribute to the protection of gorillas. Remember, the survival of these magnificent creatures is not just about preserving a species, it's also about maintaining the balance of our ecosystems, and ultimately, the health of our planet. The fate of the gorilla is in our hands, every action counts.